Hey, what is up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. Today is March the 2nd, and it is currently 20 to 9, and today is my very first day of university. <laughs> that sounds like so weird to say. So today I am starting my course. Is that what you call it? I don't even know. And before I get inundated with questions, I've been asked so many times, so I'm going to say it now, so if you don't know you know but i'm studying a bachelor of communication studies double majoring in marketing and digital business so now you know i wanted to make this vlog like a week in the life both well, two reasons one so i can document it so i can look back at it and i can like relive it and the second is so you guys because i know heading into university there is a real gap in youtube for university videos like Search up New Zealand high schools, you get inundated with videos. But if you search up New Zealand universities, there's nothing. So I'm here to fill that gap for you guys so that you are coming to university with a bit of an idea of what's going on. Let me just set this up so we can have a bit of a chat. So to give you guys a bit of a rundown as to what is happening today, I have one lecture at 11 o'clock, which goes for two hours. So it's like 11 till 1. I can math and there's marketing so that's like one of my papers I'm taking this semester because you take four papers per semester it's basically at four classes and my second lecture I'm pretty sure is language and context which is kind of like English I think from what I can understand they just give you that paper to make sure everyone's like at the same level of like the understanding of like the English language English? English language. I can't actually speak. Sorry guys, I had my wisdom teeth out last week. If you haven't seen that video, that's probably already over my channel. I have got bruises, so no, I have not been decked in the face. I've got three hours of classes today, so I've got quite a lot of spare time, but that's good because I've got a few things I need to get done. I also haven't got any textbooks. Like, I've had mixed, like, things. Like, some people have bought them, some people haven't, some people aren't even going to bother buying them. Some people said you can just find them online, so I need to go have a look. Also, while I'm here, I did want to make a point of saying that last night I went to church for the first time in what would have been maybe seven years and it was incredible. So I went with basically my whole entire floor went. There was like maybe half of us. There was like nine of us that went and it was literally like insane. It was so cool. Yeah, so I found my church because I know a lot of you guys have been like recommending churches to me and stuff. So I've, I just went last night to Arise, which is the one on campus here at university. And it was honestly incredible. So I'm so excited that I found the church. It is nearly quarter to 11, so I'm gonna head up. The lecture doesn't start at 11, but it's gonna take me like five or 10 minutes to walk there. And I don't wanna turn up late on the first day. So I'm gonna make my way up there slowly. This is really weird. Like. Does this mean I'm like a big kid? Like, I don't know, I'm still 17, but like, this is kind of cool. I don't know if I'll film anything in there, because I, I actually have no idea what's happening, so see you guys soon. Okay, hello. As you can see, I obviously did not get any footage in that lecture. Overall, it was great. Content, great. It went for two hours, and I could not concentrate, so... We're gonna need to work on that. But that may be because of the medication for my wisdom teeth, because it's kind of like... I just, it, yeah, I can't really concentrate at all, so that's fine. I had lunch, I met this really nice girl called Ellie, and she subscribed to my channel, so hi Ellie. But yeah, I'm meeting her and Katie and Jordan, who I went to school with last year. I'm meeting them in like 10 minutes to head over to the next lecture, which is language and context. But yeah, so far so good. I forgot to mention as well, in that last lecture I sat with Caroline, who's one of Owen's friends, and she's like so lovely, she's like from Hamilton. So it's like cool, because I knew someone going in there, which made it a lot easier. But yeah, so now I've got like a little group of little Fano here that we're going to all go into some next lecture together we don't really know where we're going so that's why we're leaving so early we're leaving like 20 minutes before the lecture starts to walk there and then actually find where we're supposed to be going and after this next lecture i'm gonna be done for the day and i'm really excited but yeah owen's at work today and because i get i've been getting so many questions asking if i'm living with owen no i am not i'm in my own room at the university this is my spot he lives in hamilton he's from hamilton i think you guys got confused by that but he lives in hamilton so he's like staying like with his family and i just go over there and visit like a lot. He's at work today and he said that he might come visit me after he's finished work so I'm hoping that he does because that would just be like the cherry on top for today. I've been sitting still for so long I've got all this energy and I just need to get it out. Alright, I'm gonna go and fill up my drink bottle and get ready to go to this next lecture which hopefully is not gonna be too much on my brain because I'm struggling. But yeah. Alright, I need to go fill up my water bottle and get to this next lecture. Okay, I'm back in my room now. I just got back. I'm here with Katie. Hello. Just say three fun facts about yourself. Everyone doesn't know you. My middle name's Brooke. Yeah, I don't have any other. <laughs> we went to this language. Oh, that bruise is actually so bad, eh? We went to that language and context thing, and it was really, really 
Great boring. fun. No, it was boring. It was so boring. And I think we've, we think we've got reading tonight, but we're trying to figure it out. We don't know how to get the reading. We don't know what the reading is. But yeah, we're just having a debrief now. Okay, my camera just had a fit and deleted everything I just said. But I'm just going to explain this all over again. I found the textbook for the reading that I have to do online tonight, which is great. She said we had to do reading, but she didn't say when we had to do it by. And judging by this piece of paper she gave us, I'm pretty sure I have to do it tonight before my lecture tomorrow, like 3 o'clock. That's cool. First day of uni, guys. Must admit, I was feeling way more optimistic about this this morning when I woke up. That's what's happening. I've got no more classes for today. It's currently four o'clock, so I'm gonna go up and see Katie and go have dinner at quarter past five. Which I think is chicken schnitzel, so we'll see if I can even eat that because of my teeth. But this bruise is actually looking kind of brutal. I don't know if it shows up as bad on camera. I tried to put tint of, like moisturizer over it because you guys know I don't wear makeup, so I've, not, I've got no foundation here to cover it up. So it's just gonna look like I got a buff in the face, but it's all good. It is 5.07, so I'm probably gonna head over to dinner very shortly. But I haven't heard from Owen because obviously he's been at work all day. I've been in lectures while he's been on his breaks. So I haven't spoken to him like all day. And I'm like losing the plot. Like, you know, we're talking every day and I'm like, Ugh. I'm hoping he might come around after work. So I want to go to dinner early in the hope that he might come and say hi. Guys, he came. You guys smile for the vlog. I am back. So as you guys saw, Owen did come and say hello. But he has now gone home and I have, well, I was in the middle of building this thing I'm about to show you and then someone piped up in the group chat for our floor and said there was chocolate cake. So I'm going to go chocolate cake. And then I came back and I just finished building this. So voila, it's a shoe stand. I need to sit down and watch The Bachelorette. I missed last night's episode because I was at church. So I might watch that. But I will see you guys tomorrow and hopefully this bruise will have calmed down a little bit because it looks terrible. Good morning vlog. Hello. Today is Tuesday. It is 10 past 9 so I have already been and had breakfast and you can see I've had a shower. I actually got up at 7.30 but I was a bit slow getting moving this morning because I have nothing on until 2 o'clock this afternoon. So I'm just chilling. All my friends have classes so I'm just, you know, chilling. I don't really know what I'm going to do until 2 o'clock because when I have something I need to do I try and do it straight away so I don't have to worry about it. But I did all my stuff yesterday not realizing that I had this massive as gap. At two o'clock I have my language and context class, same place, same time as yesterday. And then after that I have my introduction to management class, like lecture, which is from three till five. So I was like back to back three hours of lecturing. You think I would have been to concentrate for three hours? <laughs> I don't think so. But after that, Owen finishes work at around six o'clock. Spoiler alert for tomorrow, but I've got no classes at all tomorrow because normally I'd have tutorials, but they don't start till next week. So I'm actually gonna go stay the night at Owen's tonight. I said to him and I said to myself, I'm like, I'm not gonna stay over at his place on like school nights, like university nights when I have classes the next day because that's just not sensible. But um, since I don't have any classes on Wednesday, it's okay. But my door's open so I want to speak kind of quietly. Yo, how's it going? Just going to breakfast. Does it come out of the vlog? Okay. <laughs> this is Rachel, guys. Hi. What's three fun facts about yourself? I like kids. <laughs> That my favorite. She's studying primary school teaching, guys. It's not weird. Oh yeah. <laughs> not in a weird way. I can click all my toes at once. Yeah, actually. Yeah. Not with shoes on. Not with shoes on. Because I had to dance for like ever. Oh yeah. And I'm hungry, so bye. Okay, have fun. But yeah, that's Rachel. She's my neighbor. She's like behind this wall. That is my plan for the day. Okay. It has been a productive-ish morning, but it is 10 to 11, so I need to head over to pick up this textbook from the school that I'm meeting at 11 o'clock. But I managed to find two other second-hand textbooks for two of my other classes, which is great, which means I don't have to buy them, like, full price, which is awesome. But yeah, I'm not going to bring you guys with me because vlogging in public ain't my thing right now. Maybe one day when I'm not so scared, but not right now when I don't want to be drawing attention to myself. So I don't, I don't know, I feel like this actually might be up live by the time this goes up, so I feel like I can say it. But basically this, I don't know if you guys can see, but this here is what I'm working on. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it is a Maximum Smart Instagram filter. So shout out to Brooke, Brooke Houston, for telling me or helping me do this. I have had another outfit change. This top and these shorts, both in Princess Polly. I don't know if my discount code will still be valid when this video goes up. If this video goes up or you're watching this before the 19th of March, you can use my code EMMALOVES20 for 20% off your orders at Princess Polly. It is 
12.05 and I'm going to go get lunch at quarter past 12. But I'm going to see if Taya is going to come and get lunch with me because if I have the option of having my lunch with someone as opposed to having it by myself, I'm going to have it with someone else. So I'm meeting Katie in like three quarters of an hour-ish to head over to our first lecture for the day, which is language and context, which I've got a textbook for, but I'm still not sure if you even take the textbooks to the lectures, because if you don't have to, then I'm not going to, because they're very heavy. I've got 40 minutes-ish to pack a bag to go to Owen's house tonight, so when I come back from my lecture, he doesn't have to wait for me. Okay guys, I'm here with Katie again, and we're going to our language and context class. Who's so excited? boring. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, I am back from my lectures. Language and context was great. Someone got told off in the class of filming on Snapchat, so I will not be filming in that class ever. Sorry, if you're not missing out on much, don't worry. Second lecture was also good. That was management and the lecture for that class so cool. If there's any class I'm gonna be stuck there till five o'clock, it would be that one and it's great. It's 5.30 now, Owen's coming to pick me up, probably in like half an hour or so. Got my bag packed. Good morning everyone. It's Wednesday, I forgot I was vlogging, so here I am. Last night I said Owen's, went and got pizza and went back to his place. Watched The Bachelorette and went to bed and woke up this morning at 6.30 because he dropped me off on his way to work. So he dropped me off about an hour ago. I went to breakfast with Rachel, me and Levy, who is also on my floor, the only two that don't have classes today. There's supposed to be like a clubs thing where you can go slant to clubs, but it is an absolutely miserable day today. It's not like raining, but it's like drizzling. Like, you know, it's like annoying, like humidity as well. Also, last night I pulled one of my stitches out accidentally, actually. It feels like one's about to come out. Awesome, another one of my stitches just came out. I pulled another one out last night when I was brushing my teeth. All right, update. I've just been through and found out what I actually have to read. Um, there's 38 pages of reading after you get done pretty much today, so. That's cool. Eight pages to read in here. 22 pages to read in here. Eight pages to read here. I hate reading. So it's just been exactly an hour and I've finished my reading, which was like 17-ish pages in my language and context textbook. So from that, I have these notes as well as these ones. I said before I hate reading. That was actually like genuinely interesting stuff. I went to lunch with Rachel and it was like chicken fajitas and they were so spicy. We went for a walk down to like the village green because we got like, it's like club day today so they have all the clubs out. Also you can see the sun's come out. They club day so we went down and I got, it was not only really a club but I went to the Arise Church stand because that's the church that I've decided that I'm going to go to down here in Hamilton. And I got some stickers because Rachel went earlier and told me about that and I met her friend Morgan. So Morgan if you're watching this, hi. Um, probably not but it's a birthday today so if anyone wants to drop a happy birthday to morgan in the comments i will pass that on i am back and ready to do more reading i'm thinking i might i need to go to the supermarket and buy some snacks i also need to go to warehouse stationery and buy some actual notebooks uh, we'll see oh my days it has been an hour i've got 10 pages left of reading but i'm so over this you know when you like read something and you read it and then you're like, wait, what did I just read? Like, you're just reading words, like, you're not reading what it actually says. Yeah, that's the struggle I've got at the moment. But I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna power through it, because most of the stuff I learned in high school anyway, so it's like fine. Hello, I have returned from the grocery store. That was a bit of a mesh because I was driving, I was like, why is there so much traffic? I looked at the time, it was 20 past 3. Get to the supermarket. There are so many school children at the supermarket. There's this little girl in front of me, she would have been like, I don't know seven or eight and she went to the sub checkout by herself i'm like where are your parents but anyway you guys know when you go to the supermarket you never buy what you go there for so here is my grocery haul marshmallows salt and vinegar chips hundreds and thousands of cookies barbecue shapes cheese and bacon shapes because these are my favorite and these are owen's favorite and then these were two for six or something so i tried this new flavor and then the raspberry and white chocolate which is my favorite last but not least we have these compostable reusable bags they're from eco pack i'm gonna buy like the glad bags because that's just what i've grown up with i've had those in my lunchbox since i was year one and i had it on my list to go buy them like the small ones and the, like the sandwich size one but i saw these sitting on the shelf they were a bit more expensive they were like twice as much like per bag but i decided that yes this would probably look better in the vlog if i was doing this i wouldn't get ripped into but also i feel like it's going to be a good habit for me to get into it actually reuse these bags like yes they are compostable but i'm hoping that I will actually learn to reuse them. So like once I put something in it, I can just wash it, dry it, reuse it. So all up that came to $24, including my one card discount. Hi, dinner has happened. It was steak, which was terrible, but then they had cake, so it was fine. Also, the sun has not gone down. It's just really dark in my room, but I'm going to go down to the common room and do some work down there because no one's in there and it's actually got sunlight in there. You guys wanna come? Okay, let's go.
So, um, you're welcome to the comment. I'm gonna show you guys Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. <coughs> Kitchen, table, common area. Sitting here updating my income statements for Emma Stevens vlogs and um. Back in the new iconic vlogging spot, but it is nine o'clock and. I have just done some more note taking like transferring my notes from my little notebook into my actual like binder folder But I'm going to do some editing now off this video you guys are watching and then we need to bed So I'm gonna close off today's bit here and I'll see you guys in the morning Good morning vlog this lighting makes me a ghost, but that's fine today. I have two lectures Oh, no one lecture one tutorial first lecture goes from 10 to 12 and that is public relations The next one is from 2 to 4 and that's a tutorial for management Owen is at work today and I'm going home tomorrow. He's got training tonight after work. So that means I won't see him until I come back from home, which would be Monday. And that's a long way away. So I'm going to go and drive over to his work to be there for when his lunch break starts at 12.30. And he's going to come and he's going to have his lunch break in the car so we can hang out. It is 25 to 10, so I'm meeting Katie in like 10 minutes-ish to go to our public relations lecture. Because we don't really know where we're going, so we're going to leave a bit earlier just so we can try and figure that out. I did my good deed for the day. I got, I don't know if I told you guys, but I got given cat food at the house and garden show that I went to the day before I moved in. And I don't have a cat, but there's a cat on campus, so I took it to the, like, the reception. And I said like, would you like this for a cat? And she's like, yeah, sure. So, yeah. It's 10 past 12 and I'm back in the room. PR was not the most engaging lesson I've ever been in my entire life, but it's okay. It's kind of funny because PR is like my job at the moment, but I just couldn't really get engaged with the lesson, but that's fine. Owen's lunch break is in like 20 minutes, so I'm going to head over there in like 10 minutes. I have a tutorial for management in 23 minutes. I'm going to go Jordan and Lucy and we're going to leave in like 3 minutes. But I don't even know where this building is, so I need to find out because apparently it's like really confusing. I'm going to go to this tutorial. And apparently it only goes for half an hour rather than 2 hours because it's the first one everyone else has been saying that has already been to theirs. Oh my days. This, mm, what is it called? Oh, I don't even know the subject. Management. First tutorial done. I finished 45 minutes earlier, which is great. Um, it just took us like 10 minutes to walk back, but oh my gosh, I'm so tired. But yeah, it's just a massive workload and my brain's just, it's got a mind of its own. Day four of university and I can feel the mental breakdowns. I can feel them coming. Also, I forgot to mention, I have a whole heap of reading to do for management, which I was supposed to do with my reading that I did yesterday. And it's like 20 something pages. If I want to get them all done, I have to read seven pages a day. Oh, I'm just... <clears throat> I think there's a church event on tonight because I got a message from Kahu, who I mentioned in my moving in vlog, who's at part of a rise church. Oh, there's a hangout tonight with free pizza and ice cream at 6.30. Okay, I'm going to go to that with Rachel and Taylor. <laughs> but before then, I need to, but so I can actually go and reward myself, I need to actually get some stuff done first. So I'm going to go and fill up my water bottle, go to the bathroom and get stuck into it. So I called my mum and I had a rant about the workload, but it's fine. It's actually not that much. It's just like timing and stuff about how it was like you have to be certain places at certain times. You have to have the things done be before you are at these certain places at these certain times. And then trying to fit it all around like the halls like schedule like with the eating times and like other co-curricular stuff like I want to go to church tonight but I don't know if I'm going to have time but I really want to go and I really need to make that a priority but I also need to make my priorities my education because I'm paying to be here and it ain't cheap but yeah this oh it's just oh, I feel like it's not that bad but it's just because I've been on holiday for four months and it hasn't really been a holiday like I've been doing work it's not really a business but like with the merch side of things it kind of did get a little bit like a business at the same time I'm still doing that now except I have all of this on top of it like I intentionally waited to do my business stuff when school finished because I knew that I couldn't balance both of them at once like I wanted to give it my all and I couldn't do that if school was on but now I still want to be giving it my all but it's really tricky to do that when this is now my new priority when I also have the priority of like Owen oh, and going home to visit my family and spending time with uni friends and me meeting people and like it's it's a hard thing to balance and I kind of knew going into it that it would be a hard thing to balance but I didn't think that I'd realize that so 
close to starting. I thought I'd realise that like four weeks and not four days in. I mean, I'd like to consider myself a pretty organised person and like people tell me I'm an organised person, but you can be as organised as you want and you can still be absolutely so disorganised. It's ridiculous. Honestly, I could talk for days about this, but this vlog, it's already very long, so I need to move on and I'll talk to you guys once I finish taking these notes. Mm, I need to stop procrastinating because I love talking to the vlog, but I need to just... and Yeah, okay, I digress. See you soon. I'm trying to do my reading. A new person of the vlog, this is Jess. Three fun facts about yourself. I'm gonna crack under pressure. <laughs> I'm from Tauranga. Wait, did you guys know each other before coming here? No, no, we just met each other and we've got so much in common, it's real weird. She's single. I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm teaching at the same school with Rachel. Oh, We're is... basically the same person. Are you guys school buddies? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We carpooled today. Oh yeah, guys, we were car outside. I was like, wait, how did she get to school? <laughs> I don't know, a cube. Oh, I own a cube. Oh, that oh, can't go on like the Like a internet. car that's like a cube. <laughs> <laughs> this is the shape of a car. I feel like I've gone so red. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is Friday. It is currently 8.36 so I've been, I had a shower, I had breakfast and stuff. My first lecture is at 10 o'clock and it is uh, language and context and that only goes for an hour. And then I have a break from 11 to 1 so I'll have lunch on that break at some stage. And then I have a marketing lecture for an hour which is the same one that I had like first thing on Monday. Yeah, that's only for an hour to this time though rather than two hours which is like a relief. But then after that Katie and I are going to head back home to Auckland. I need to go and brush my teeth and get myself sorted. So I have returned from my lecture for language and context and not gonna lie the subject is really warming on me like all the stuff that we have been taught is stuff that I mean it's kind of relevant to like my job here on YouTube but it's also kind of relevant to just everyday life. I was just putting some like cream on my moisturizer on my face for my skin and some sunscreen and it came across me that not a single person has asked about my skin since being here. And that's so weird for me because I get questions literally every day on YouTube and Instagram. I don't know, is that because people don't notice it? Or they, no, they, they must notice it. Does that go to show that people are more free to say things online when they're not actually having to say it to the person's face? Don't get me wrong, I don't mind people asking about it because I'd rather ask about it than assume. But, I don't know, it's interesting. Hello, I am back from my lecture. Got my bags there. Got more bags there, washing, washing clothes and we are gonna head back to Auckland 10 past 2 and so I take like I don't know I need to go fill up my car with gas as well I need to take this banana with me or it's gonna go rot on my way hello it is 20 past 5 and I am obviously back home in Auckland now this is not my uni room clearly I would like to apologize that the content is the content that you guys don't particularly enjoy and the fact that I wasn't really showing what I was doing but it's really hard to show what you're doing, like I would rather show you guys and give you a little bit of an insight as to not show it all. I feel like this is going to be quite a long video, so if you made it this far, thank you so much. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below so that I, in fact, if you made it this far, comment a, I don't know, I'll put an emoji on the screen here. Whatever this emoji is, comment that if you made it this far. And here's a virtual high five. Thank you guys so much for watching, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. My teeth are so sore. Oh my gosh, I cannot speak. I need food. Ten past, it's just ten. It's, uh, do you guys see? I burped and I heard it echo down the hallway. Uh, that's fun. I feel like you can see me. Hi. I'm now joined by a polar bear to help prevent mental breakdowns. I'm doing fine, I promise you.